In number five Center Marketplace lived a photographer named Arthur Felling, who was just beginning to get famous under the name Ouija for his really, really vivid, vigorous pictures of the New York night. Crime, mayhem, fires, crashes. On the night of August 6th, 1936, Ouija heard, probably from the cops, that there had been a shooting at 90 Elizabeth Street, rolled out of his apartment, grabbed his speed graphic camera like this one on the way, and hit the street. He got to 90 Elizabeth Street right here around the same time the cops did. The guy who'd been killed was named Dominic Didato. He was a very small time hood. He had crossed somebody in Lucky Luciano's organization and you know what happened to him. He ended up dead on his way out after dinner. Ouija had, he knew, only a few minutes to make a picture. By the time Ouija made this frame, police had surrounded the body and two waiters appeared at the entrance to the restaurant eyeing the scene. The last picture is the best one. What Ouija did was get down low to the ground. Didato had fallen onto the sidewalk facing toward the restaurant and was bleeding out the opposite way. Ouija got on the other side so that the picture doesn't look too gory and you don't see the victim's face. It looks calm almost. His hat had fallen off right here. The shooter had dropped the gun right next to it. And it created a nice composition, a triangle fell neatly into the sidewalk grid. The other thing is, he was shooting with a flashbulb late at night. That jacked up the contrast in the photo. The picture ended up vignetted. It almost framed itself. Ouija probably went back to his apartment to process the film he just shot. Sometimes though, if he was busy for the rest of the evening, he would wait till the morning when he got to the New York Post. He had a sort of first look arrangement there, whereby they would let him use the dark room if they got a first look at the film. And in fact, they did buy the shot of the cops standing around the body with the waiters looking on. He also sold that one to the New York Evening Journal. Nobody, strangely enough, bought the greatest one of the night until later on. That's the one that's on book jackets now. But the Post, to its credit, ran a great headline on the one they did buy. It's bad luck to chisel in on lucky. <laughs>